Hi, I'm Wade McElwain and welcome to Markets and Minds, the show where we break down big macro themes into simplified trade ideas. The last quarter has been filled with discussions about what the markets will do in 2021, which stocks and sectors will perform and which won't. These conversations are often filled with technical jargon, with talk of factors and styles such as value, growth, momentum, and rotation in the market between these groups. But it's not unusual to hear the terms cyclical and defensive in these discussions as well. We've covered the concepts of value and growth in previous shows, but we haven't touched on those other terms and it's about time we did. So what do cyclical and defensive mean in relation to the stock market? And why are those terms important to investors right now? Cyclical stocks are stocks that track the phases of the economy doing well when the economy picks up, but falling off again when the economy slows down. Defensive stocks, on the other hand, are nothing to do with the military. Instead, they're stocks which are less sensitive to the rise and fall of the overall economy. Defensive stocks are often businesses that make or sell the types of goods and services that we consider to be essential to daily life, and they're not usually big ticket items either. A sector that's commonly associated with the term defensive is consumer staples. Brokers and banks have highlighted some cyclical sectors in their research this week, and these serve as great examples of why investors should be aware of these terms. Barclays highlighted advertising agencies as cyclical group that underperformed as the economy turned down during the pandemic. Corporate marketing and advertising budgets have been cut under COVID-19, which meant that the fees earned by ad agencies also fell. There was little or no point in advertising at sports venues and shopping malls, for example, when events were cancelled and footfall slowed to a trickle. However, with the emergence of three COVID-19 vaccines, markets are starting to look forward to the reopening of the economy and businesses will start to think about scaling up their 2021 marketing budgets once more. Barclays identified a potential 40% upside in the valuation of some stocks in the advertising sector as a result. Another cyclical sector that was highlighted this week was recruitment and staffing, and this time Deutsche Bank was doing the cheerleading. The recruitment and staffing sector was hit very hard by the plunge in unemployment seen in the first and second quarters of 2020. When millions of workers were laid off or furloughed, and though unemployment and job creation rates have picked up over the summer, they have not returned to their pre-COVID levels. Once again, the emergence of vaccines and the potential to reopen the economy could change that in 2021 and 2022. Deutsche Bank believes that labor markets will be more positive over the next 12 to 24 months, and that three years of underperformance from the staffing sector versus the wider market is due to change. In some instances, that underperformance has been seen as large as 60%. COVID-19 has created other cyclical opportunities, for example, in the travel and leisure sector. Not just in airlines, but in hotels and resorts, theme parks, car rentals, and so on. Think of all the things that U.S. consumers haven't been able to enjoy for most of 2020. Trackstar IQ, our proprietary search tracking tool, shows us that over the past month, airline manufacturer Boeing was the most researched stock online by institutional Wall Street investors, and travel-related stocks have started to garner interest too. The question for investors is probably not so much about whether to switch out of defensive stocks and into cyclicals, and more about the timing of such a move. The choice is to decide whether to wait for vaccination programs to be rolled out en masse and then move, or to preempt that and maybe gain an early mover advantage. Perhaps the best thing to do will be to watch the price action of stocks in these cyclical sectors over the coming weeks and let them be your guide. That's all we have time for today. To find out more about our TrackStar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com forward slash TrackStar. As always, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.